Hey everyone, this is Corey with Stafford CDC, and I got a double unboxing for you. This one here has been a little bit of a long time coming, and these two were an impulse purchase. So, uh, let's start off with this guy here. Uh, the unboxing knife today, because it's the first day of my 30-day uh, slip joint challenge. This is a Enigma Knives Custom in a Northwoods Leather Company slip. Uh, I have the, um, what's it called, the binder clips on there, just to help keep this... Uh, keep this with some good retention molded down uh, this here's the knife I had to do some modifications to this to add the half stop and I chewed it up pretty good you can see there's some nice gapping there now and it just doesn't look all that great but it functions way better uh, for my needs anyway so without further ado let's get into this guy here so this package is coming to me from my good buddy Brent uh, backpack B. Many of you will know Brent. Of course, that core I didn't want to cut. This is a very full package, so let's pop this guy out. Ooh, something went flying. It's just cardboard. We're good. All right. So this is. You can see right there, Dark Matter. Dark Matter tag here. Uh, this is a knife I worked on with Brent a little bit. Uh, he did most of the work, fully admit that. Uh, nice 3D printed canister there. It came with this little guy here. Cool little letter. Uh, let's get this open because I don't know what's going to be in here. You know what? We're knife people. We're using the knife. Kind of like sacrilege not to use the knife to open this, right? All right, Brent, this is fucking cool. Wax sealed, that's awesome. Let's uh, let's get underneath this wax. Try and keep it intact. Because that's just fucking cool. Alright, I'm going to lose a little bit there. But not too bad. Let's, uh, let's see what we got on here. Dear Corey, what's up bro? I hope this note finds you well. I also hope how you dig the knife, how the knife turned out. Thank you so much for your patience with me during the project. I'm working on figuring out better workflow for dark matter moving forward. Once you're settled with your new job, we have to find time to hang again in the shop or do another meetup. All the best, brother. B. Brent, of course, dude. Thank you so much for working with me on this. And uh, I know it's going to be phenomenal. I'm excited to get this, uh, to check this thing out. Um, yeah, Brent's doing a great job with his mods over there. And, you know, it's not his full-time job or anything. So all the props in the world for him getting what he can done. And especially, you know, working on this with me, super cool, super, super cool. So these 3D printed canisters are what he's shipping his mods out in now, I believe. And here, ooh, we got a shit ton of stickers. And uh, I threw in one of the coins. That's sweet. See that right there? Yeah, the D and the M for dark matter. Dark Matter written on this side. This is copper, I believe. This is heavy. It's super cool. I have a, uh, like, rabbit here. It's hanging around here somewhere. Did I knock it into? The question is, did I knock it into the case or out of the case? It looks like I knocked it out of the case. Now I'm not going to be able to find it. Bear with me for, like, two seconds here. Well, I do have another coin from Brent that I cannot seem to locate at the moment. That's why it fell on the floor. All right, so this here, yeah, Mirror Edge Knife Gang. Uh, and this is uh, Mirror Edge Knife Gang, Death Before Dull. And what you won't be able to tell at this is that it glows. Uh, it has to charge in the light. It's been on the floor, so it's not charging. But now I have two coins coming out of Brent's shop. 
one out of copper and one 3D printed. So that is super cool. We're just gonna keep this guy right up here. Get the Dark Matter logo facing out. Good collection of Knife Owl stickers here. If you don't know what Knife Owl is, that's Brent's uh, super late night live streams, which are awesome. A ton of fun to be a part of those. So those are super cool. I will be keeping some and probably giving some you know, away in some packages um, that I'll be sending out. Nice felt cloth. And this here is so exciting. This is a shipwrecked TRM Atom. Uh, I kind of came to Brent with the idea when I went to hang out with him at his shop. Just close up the canister here. So let me grab my Atom as well. So you can see what a regular TRM Atom looks like. Thumb studs. I have O-rings on the thumb studs here. Natural micarta scales. This has a mirrored stone wash blade. They just do a normal stone wash. Plain titanium clip. Liners. Spacers. Nothing too crazy. So now, let's take a look at this one. We have burlap scales that I hit with teal dye. And it's hard to tell. I might try and put some pictures in here. But this has like almost like what you'd think a rope would look like on like Davy Jones's ship from uh, like Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but there's some really nice blue and teal on the inside of this. And you can see here the pocket clip, the spacers, and the liners have a nice blue color to them. So all around you have this kind of worn blue look. And then, of course, the hole in the blade, plus a nice acid stone wash that flicks right out of there. Nice and oiled up. This does need an edge, which I will be putting on it. But you can see this is just beautiful finish here by Brent. And uh, his suggestion to change the whole shape it looks really great. No more TRM logo, which is, you know, it is what it is. But the access is great. The flick, all oh, the flick is so good. And ergos are solid on these guys. You know, TRM Adam is a great knife. One of my personal favorites. It's a little tight right now, but action's still good. And yeah, the hole is great. This is awesome. So happy with this. Thanks so much, Brent. Especially thank you for the coin. You know, I kept telling him how good the coins look, so I'm, I'm really happy he threw one of those in there for me. And uh, yeah, super, super neat. Really, really great, and so happy with how this turned out. So Brent, thank you. It is absolutely no worries about the time that it took to do this project. It was so much fun working with you on this. And I'm so glad to finally have it in hand here. So that is the Dark Matter modded TRM Atom. We're going to let that guy hang out right up top. I will move my Atom to the side. I will grab again my Enigma Custom. And let's open up this guy. I stumbled across... Uh, we got some personal info on the inside of this. So, let's do that. Make sure there's nothing else in here. All right, package is clear. All right, and that's just the invoice in return form if needed. So, yeah, these two knives were impulse purchases. I was uh, browsing all about pocket knives, uh, the website, looking at all their traditionals. And somewhere, you know, on like the 50th page, I stumbled across a different version of one of these. I went, huh, that's pretty cool. So I looked them up, and the used one that was on there was the same price as a new one. And there's a, these are actually cheaper than the one I found on there. Uh, these are from A.G. Russell. Uh, you can't tell that anywhere on the packaging. But you can see the codes right here and right here. We essentially have two identical models here. One's large, one is small. So uh, let's get into it. These got a little busted up in shipping, but that's okay. That's so funny. This is a, uh, I think this is actually the big one, or the small one. It's funny, a little chintzy leather uh, lanyard. That'll be coming off, no doubt about it. Cut the tape on this guy. 
And yeah, that is the small version that came in the bigger box. That's funny. Kind of comical. Here you go. These are both gunstock patterns. And now what's really neat about this is it has this really deep nail nick up here. You can see it's on both sides. That is for one hand opening. So that's super cool. These have a lockback design, but these use a coil spring located down and in there. Let me grab a light. Let's see if we can show this off. I don't know if you can see that down there or not. But to the naked eye, I can absolutely see it in there. There's a little bit of dust or something, but down in there, on the inside, there is a coil spring instead of your typical like tension bar to operate the back lock. So it's pretty easy to disengage, nice and smooth. There's no play, a little bit up and down. These are 8CR and they are made in China. This here is a smaller version. You have a recurve, a lot of belly to this. Not crazy thin behind the edge. You do have pretty thick blade stock too. These are a 0.15 inch uh, stock. I'm not gonna shake shut on you. That's okay. Let's uh let's check out the big boy here because this is the one I was looking forward to more. Uh, these both were under sixty dollars, I believe. This big one might have been a little more, like sixty five. Action's not amazing, but the ergos are really good. Gunstock pattern feels great in hand. You have, like I said, this recurve, ton of belly up in that blade. The edges are fine. They're sharp enough. And uh, I wonder if you'll be able to see the lock better in this one or not. Well, I'm having a harder time seeing it in the big one. Yeah, I can just see that spring in there. Yeah, this isn't working. Not working great. So I'm going to give up on that idea. But ergos are so good. This is the yellow Delrin handles. They look really bright on camera. I promise they're much duller. They don't look so gaudy. Um, and in person. Centering is a little bit off on the big one. Centering is dead on on the small one. And it, these leather wraps are so chintzy. They're so cheap. It's, it's just gross. Get that off the knife. Yeah, the small one opens up really nicely with the uh, with the thumb thing. I don't even know what you call that. It's not a nail nick. It's like a cutout. There you go. It's better on the big one. I'm not sure which one of these I like better. The big one's big. I mean, here's that Enigma. Give you a size comparison here. I'll put it in between them. So you kind of see pivots are roughly aligned here. Kind of see the size difference here. And something a little more relevant, we'll use the Atom. Adam has a three and a half inch blade. It is eight inches overall, I do believe. So you can see how that compares to these in size. Really interesting designs though, especially with that back lock being held with a coil spring. It's definitely really secure in there with the way that the backspacer works. Um, so really interesting. Yeah, I mean, this is ergonomically, it's great. Yeah, you're not going to shake these shut. That's okay. Don't mind using two hands to close it. The one hand opening is a huge bonus. You know, being a lockback, not having a half stop makes it so easy to open one handed. And this this thumb hole thing, this this depression, this like mega nail nick that comes in from both sides. It's great. It's perfect. And uh, yeah, super neat. So I'm excited to uh, deliberate with myself about which one of these I want to keep and which one I either want to return to A.G. Russell or sell to a buddy. But nevertheless, these are fully ambidextrous knives, which is super cool because they have a cutout on both sides. So if you're a lefty or righty, you can have a overpriced ATR-13 MOV knife. 
but uh that's where i'm gonna leave this one we're at the 15 minute mark try not to make my videos too long uh so brent thanks so much appreciate everything you do buddy and this is super cool and the knife turned out fucking awesome i don't curse too often not f-bombs anyway but this is deserving of one that flick is so good on this guy so excited to give this an edge tune that action a little bit maybe and yeah really really stoked for this one and these ag russells really neat the brand that you know you don't hear about a lot there because they're kind of expensive chinese made knives and these shields are upside down like this is the typical way i'd expect that shield to be but it's this way and the wrong end of the handle never noticed that and this federalist shield is tilted also never noticed that so that's a thing all right well hope you guys enjoyed i will uh debate with myself internally about which one of these i want and that's gonna be it today so thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day guys take care